Hey guys, episode 38 of the Stocks and Shares series. Uh, I think Trading212 are still signing up new people on the waiting list, so uh, if you want to sign up and use the link and get a free share, uh, that'll be in the description and uh, in a pinned comment. So looking at the portfolio this week, uh, made some cryptocurrency sales uh, last Sunday or Saturday afternoon, so uh, put about 11,000 uh, in total in this week and up about sort of one or two thousand pound i think overall uh, some of that has come from these two funds uh, so jupiter gold and silver's up about a thousand and black rocks up about 500 so it's not too bad hoping uh, gold has bottomed potentially and uh, might start to see a bit of uh, positive news from here with inflation so looking at the trading 212 ISA, uh, a slight uh, drop in the ARC genomics pie. So that's pretty good. As I say, uh, looking to sort of make a big investment in that in the new ISA season. So if that can stay, uh, stay low or potentially drop a bit further in the next couple of weeks, that would be appreciated. And... Or elsewhere in the portfolio, um, a few sort of small movers, but sort of broadly everything slightly up. Alibaba sort of recovering a little. Um, Argo blockchain has barely moved, which is surprising. Uh, Bitcoin ETP, not too bad, two percent sort of continuing up with uh, with Bitcoin. Uh, BT, quite a nice mover. Um, I did see there um, the Ofcom regulator is not going to impose price caps on their full fibre to the home or to the premises. Uh, so I guess people are thinking they can charge what they like, which is uh, positive news for them, maybe not for the public. Uh, sentiment slightly recovering obviously needs the uh, gold price to come back first majestic pretty flat for the week uh, not too bad though uh, the REITs not doing too bad not big uh, big positions as I say they'll be getting a big investment in the new ISA series or new ISA season in April uh, polymetal, just slight sort of move, only 1%. Uh, Rio Tinto taking a fairly big drop, uh, surprising considering sort of steel prices and uh, just sort of general commodities rising. And uh, so I think this may be getting another investment if uh, some more money comes into the invest account. Looking in a good range. Uh, supply at me capital the little penny stock has started trading again and uh, it's positive for the week so not too bad i might leave this a little while longer and then sort of sell out maybe in the new isa series uh, season uh, sylvania platinum just slightly uh, up for the week sort of around my uh, the one pound 25 target that i sold out of a uh, quarter of the position but uh Hoping for good things going forward. Rhodium price pretty much back to all-time highs. And Taylor Wimpy pretty much flat for the week. Um, yeah, everything else sort of doing okay. Volkswagen has seen probably the big move of the week, though. So 17% up. Pretty good. Uh, seems to be off the back of... Uh, sort of get-togethers and uh, news that they're sort of going to be basically all electric vehicles by sort of 2025 so they're making a push I mean it is it's not concrete news it's just announcements uh, nothing sort of has actually happened yet uh, but people seem to be taking it well so I mean I as I say I thought they were undervalued before anyway so this is just sort of coming back to it's a fair value. Uh, and then we've got Porsche in the invest account as well. So that's becoming a, a reasonable position now. 
still think of Porsche and Volkswagen as basically one holding. And yes, so the Invest account has had about 11,000 added this week and it's up about 1,000. So up to 94 and this has gone into basically, uh, if you didn't see the live stream during the week, uh, this is sort of new stocks that I'm substituting for um, others that I were on my long term uh, stocks list, but I consider sort of a bit overvalued at the moment. So Coke, Pepsi and uh, Boeing, Airbus, that sort of thing. So uh, got about, I think, seven or eight new stocks here, uh, not necessarily permanent. Um, if the sort of Cokes and Pepsis and McDonald's, Procter and Gamble and that sort of thing come back into a reasonable range, then I might sell off some of these and uh, and invest in those. So I got Anthem, it's a US sort of healthcare company, seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, bought in sort of Monday and it's gone up slightly. Obviously, that's uh, that's only a week's move, so. Pretty happy with that. Seem fairly undervalued. Uh, not too much else. Uh, a lot of the invest account stocks just seem to be up sort of two or three percent, doing fairly well. Uh, Broadcom sort of recovered back to the sort of four seventy four. Uh, yeah, did sort of really dip down in the uh, the tech sell off. Broadcom's kind of tech but not too overpriced tech i would say uh, cardinal health is one of the other new ones similar to anthem really but just sort of on the slightly slower growth but slightly cheaper range in uh, uh, price to earnings uh, caterpillar just sort of uh, down slightly for the week still seems a bit overvalued i would say so not buying any more uh, eBay is in a nice nice move for the week. Haven't uh, delved into any sort of particular news that's caused this. Um, could be just uh, people buying, sort of thinking it was a bit undervalued. Seems very low PE for sort of somewhere that's I think they've got about one hundred and eighty million sort of active users. So I thought it was a good good platform. Basically, a similar amount to Amazon, and obviously. Uh, not the PE of Amazon. Uh, FedEx saw a hell of a move right at the end of the week. I suppose it did dip during the week, so it's only up 3%. But, uh, yeah, it seemed a, a hell of a jump yesterday. So that's doing well. Um, not too much moves in anything else. Uh, Intel and international paper just sort of uh, pretty flat. The uh, Japan ETF gone up a little. Global Clean Energy still taking another hit. I think this was plug power uh, dropping. That's the biggest holding still. So as I say, any more sort of cryptocurrency sales and that sort of thing uh, would like to sort of increase this position. So quite happy for that to continue dropping. So look at the year chart and did have a hell of a run up. So quite like to build up this position further and uh, hold it for a reasonable term uh, the water ETFs flat and the Europe's flat um, Johnson & Johnson yeah it's flat Kears, nice little move for Kears still sort of wondering when to sell this off not a long term hold um, Kroger's pretty flat legal in general seen a little bit of a drop but not too much of a worry there. Uh, Lenar had a uh, a nice move earlier in the week. Uh, I think they're sort of they got mentioned in the um, Federal Reserve's uh, press conference. Sort of positive move towards housing. Uh, so yeah, seem to have taken a fair jump. Um, Lockheed Martin starting to come back as well. Just sort of uh, people moving into. More value stocks, defensive type stocks, not just defense itself. Um, Merck, nice little move. More uh, 
more healthcare exposure. I suppose I've got quite a lot of healthcare exposure now with the some of the new additions. Um, Micron seeing a little move, not too bad, three percent for the week. Nintendo seeing quite a nice uh, comeback. I think the whether this is rumours of the uh, potential Switch Pro could be. Um, obviously not a huge move. It's sort of been been lower during the month but uh yeah it's still down from the sort of low 500s this is on the uh on the german exchange obviously um and porsche sort of similar to volkswagen basically not quite as much of a a move it doesn't move one to one with volkswagen but uh sort of tends to mirror it so 12.7 percent nice move for the week Process is another one of the new ones. So this is essentially sort of a holding company that is mostly valued for its stake in Tencent. Um, but I think they're sort of a hundred and hundred and eighty billion dollar market cap. Uh, but their stake in Tencent is worth about two hundred and forty billion. So you sort of getting a discount on that, and then they own sort of a load of other you know, sort of fast food um, chains and sort of online food type businesses. They've got a little bit of Auto Trader in the UK. Um, they've got a little bit of Udemy, the uh, online course uh, provider. So you're sort of getting almost all of that chucked in for free um, and sort of 10 cent at a discount. So quite liked that, uh, quite positive on Ten cent sort of moving forward as a games company seems a bit strange sort of being Chinese and not very popular but quite like some of the Chinese companies. Uh, Raytheon not really moving. Shell seemed a little bit of a uh, a drop for the week. Oil sort of been coming down off sort of hitting seventy dollars, but uh, fairly happy with Shell going forward. Not sure I'd add too much at these prices but we'll see samsung another new one uh sort of fairly bullish on samsung seem uh, pretty good balance sheet and uh, pretty cheap for a tech company so uh yeah fairly happy with them sort of seen as a uh, an alternative to google and some of the other sort of similar tech companies but just not a 30 PE as they are. Uh, Siemens, just a slight move. Sony, another uh, another new one. Quite like their sort of diversification. Uh, obviously, you've got the sort of PlayStation side of things, but you've also got music. Uh, you've got sort of Sony Pictures. They own the sort of Spider-Man rights and that sort of thing. Lots of other sort of movie rights. And... Uh, yeah, obviously the electronics side and sort of a number of different things, really. So I quite like these large uh, conglomerate sort of businesses that have lots of different sides. And uh, they tend to sort of get undervalued or discounted as a result of that. Um, a bit like Berkshire Hathaway in the US, but Berkshire just doesn't seem to have quite as much discount as some of these uh, Asian or European conglomerates do. So... Quite like Sony, not sure it'll be a, uh, you know, one to hold for their eternity, but uh, we'll see. Uh, the US small cap just coming off a little. TSMC coming down a little, do want to uh, add to this, so quite happy for it to come down. Obviously it's been hit fairly hard with the uh, tech sell-off, so yeah, quite happy for this to come down and uh, I'll be building that up. Again, sort of maybe five thousand, six thousand pound, hopefully over over the next year. Uh, Tyson Foods, just sort of a small move up, but that's been doing well over the last month. So fairly happy with that. And the video gaming ETF hasn't really moved too much. Uh, I did, I think, put a thousand pound into that with the. With the moves this week, because uh, that had sort of come down off what I'd paid for it, so reduced my average down a bit into that, and 
would continue would like to continue doing that with more money so again happy for this to to come down that's even worse than the uh global clean energy it sort of did have a crazy run up uh over the last year so quite happy for that to come down a little and the last one was verizon uh, another new position just sort of defensive uh telecoms company in the u.s seem uh, a reasonable valuation uh see berkshire's sort of made a huge move into this uh even for them sort of i think eight billion dollars of uh of this so they're obviously bullish and wanting something a bit defensive so i thought i'd go for that as well so yeah that's uh that's where the invest account has gone and sort of the the general portfolio um as i say sort of substituting uh stocks that i would like to hold long term but just don't really want to at the moment so we'll see where these go and uh, maybe they'll be temporary and get sold off for the ones i would rather have so leave your thoughts in the comments below and uh, drop a like as always appreciated and subscribe if you want to see more see you soon